Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about online SI RNA prediction tools. I'm going to talk about the three different online freely available SI RNA tools, uh, which are SI Direct version 2.0, Invivozen SI RNA Wizard, and OligoWalk for SI RNA design. The links for all of these tools that I'm going to talk today have been provided in the description of this video. So let's first start with SI Direct version 2.0, the first tool, the first online tool that can be used for SI RNA design is SI Direct version 2.0. Uh, the website or the link for which has already been provided in the description of this video, but uh, for you is SI Direct 2. Dot rnai.jp so when you put in this web address in your browser then this kind of window will appear then what you have to do then you have to either here in this enter an accession number or retrieve sequence here you can either retrieve the sequence or you can manually put the uh, nucleotide sequence okay so for, now I'm, I'm just gonna uh, keep this example. This is sequence has been given as an example and I'm gonna keep this sequence as such. And after this, so here either you, ca you can also retrieve the, the target, uh, retrieve the sequence from and by entering the accession number. Okay, so then after you uh, paste your sequence, either you can directly click on design SIRNA, but what I will do is that I'm gonna click on options because here they also give us uh, to uh, do advanced designing of the SIRNA. So I'm just going to click on uh, options, options, click here. And when I click there, as you can see that something like this shows up. So basically what it is, what is it? It actually, you know, gives us several options. For example, functional SIRNA selection algorithm by you know which by this you or if you want to use also minimization of seed dependent of target effects uh, seed duplex and there are also other options for example target range avoid co contagious G's or C's or avoid contagious A's and T's and also custom pattern and we can also ex exclude some pattern okay so this is these are the several options that you can utilize in this tool uh, to design your SARNA against your target gene. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna click on design SARNA. I'm not gonna select any of those options, but you are uh, more than welcome to choose the options uh, to suit your uh, requirement. So I'm just gonna click on design SARNA, and when I click on design SARNA, then it now shows me the list you know effective SARNA candidates as you can see that it has given me the list of SARNA candidates this one one two three four so basically one two three four five six seven eight candidates it has shown me and it it's it also shows you know RNA oligo sequences functional SARNA selection okay it's UU and C duplex temperature and all these details actually it shows us okay with this SARNA uh, direct two tools. It, here is the graphical view of these selected SARNAs. And so this is the delimited list, uh, del delimited list, which is, I would say for you, the most important is the list of the candidate SARNAs. And here you have the list of candidate SARNAs. Right, so then you can choose the ones, you know, you can choose multiple of tools. For example, from this tool, we have this list, and we can also use another tools to predict the SARNA against the same sequence, and we can choose the, the SARNA that are common between different tools, or we can also select um, the one from here, you know, checking all the details. For example, here, you, after clicking here, you can also uh, see the further details. Okay, so it's very easy. Put the sequence and it shows you the list of SIRNA candidates. So another tool is called SIRNA Wizard. So the, the website for which is invivozen.com SIRNA Wizard. And so here actually, uh, you know, what you need to do, you need to put the 
the, the name of the SARO name for the purpose of demonstration I have put ABC in this start name area and coding sequence and maximum uh, you are allowed to put is 9600 base pairs so here I have already put the coding sequence so yeah it is below 9600 so basically you can design SARNA against any of your coding se sequence of interest you can put any sequence you want here and and then after that you put the name you put the coding sequence then you need to select the database for example the coding sequence that I have taken uh, is from human uh, that's why I have selected here human but there are op options like human mouse and rat you have three different options okay and it also asks for you know mRNA seed database if you also want to find out mRNA then you can also select that as human if you wish and then after that you can click on search very simple guys just what you need to do you need to um, put the name of the SARNA that I already put it here ABC or ABCD whatever you can put like this and here is the coding sequence and here you have to select the mRNA database if your sequence is from human then you have to select human and uh, for mRNA seed database also I have selected human because my uh, sequence is my coding sequence that I used is from human and after that just click on search and and then as you can see that you could choose SARNA so it, it, it shows here uh, this uh, sequence and then you could choose SARNA corresponding to your needs uh, okay it, it has found uh, the SARNA list and these are the sequence list and for generating hairpin you can use that and design hairpin if you want to design hairpin hairpin you can click design hairpin or if you want to generate scramble SARNA just click on generate scramble SARNA select at least one motif sorry I didn't select so I I will select uh, uh, okay so we have to select at least one motif so I'm just gonna select here actually you have to select okay so for which sequence you want to design the SARNA either the using this or this or this one so I selected the first one and then it will generate this is our generated uh, so you can see SARNA target this and this SARNA scrambled is this one okay so you can we can also design the hairpin for the same sequence so then click on design hairpin and we will also get the hairpin seek for the same SARNA okay so it's very useful guys this is also a very very useful tool and the final tool that I'm gonna talk today is called oligo -WAC. The website for which is rna.urmc roster edu uh, this link for which I will provide in the description and so this is pretty easy tool guys sequence name just put any name you want so example a and primary sequence so here you, you are going to put primary sequence if you want to know the details you know each T will be converted to U and paste the sequence here so if you put the sequence here so I have already put the sequence here this is in fact is an example sequence and for this tool actually you can also upload the file is faster from it it's very easy and here email address you need to provide the email address that I have already provided biology.lexis and there are advanced options for example oligotype RNA oligo length also you can select concentration and preferential non-functional SARNA candidates and so on there are so many options you can choose uh, if you wish but I'm just gonna go back and then I'm just gonna click on submit right I submitted it and then here actually I can click here here to get the SARNA candidates you can see that this is the SARNA sequence and these are the list of candidates for my uh, sequence okay so if you want to find out the base best SARNA against your uh, gene of interest or against your target sequence then I would suggest to use at least two two different tools and then select the SIRNA which are common between the different tools okay here I have shown you with three examples but just use two different tools and select the SIRNA which is commonly predicted between the two by the by the two different uh, these in silico SIRNA prediction tools 
I hope guys this video was helpful. Thank you very much for your kind attention and time.